Praise the Lord, precious saints. Well, I'd like to do a prayer specifically about pulling down family altars. But not only the altars, but we also want to talk about the thrones and also the gates. Hallelujah. So we can see that a throne is a symbol of legal authority over a kingdom. So we see also that thrones stand over altars and gates. And the one who sits upon the throne is the actual power behind the altar. That person forms a stronghold and uses an altar for their purpose to deal with any stronghold. We have to destroy the demonic throne and the power that is working behind the altar. Thrones are set up through decrees and ordinances. And this is why declarations and also making oaths to things we cannot take lightly. And that's what we're seeing today. Many places and many people are doing things that they're not really understanding. So if we want to be free, we have to destroy the idolatrous foundations by putting our spiritual hands on it and burning the idol. We also have to release ourselves from all family idols, from our ancestry. Every family altar that has been dismantled needs to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. So gates are hindrances. They hinder certain things from coming into our lives. So we can see that, you know, the altars is a place of sacrifice. An altar is a meeting place between the physical and the spiritual. So it's a gateway to the spiritual realm. So, you know, we can see to have connection with God, we have to meet him at the altar through the sacrifice. And that's what Jesus Christ went to the cross. That is the altar that we go to. But an altar is dedicated to God for worship. And, and every altar set up is on fire. So we can also see with evil altars, uh, they are placed there for to do detestable things. So we want to destroy those. And every altar of the enemy that has been a hindrance or an affliction to us must be destroyed today in the name of our Lord Jesus. See, the process of even uh, evil altars is they do all sorts of terrible things. So we must destroy those, destroy the altars. So even when you walk into big buildings, you see that there are certain carved images or they have laid an altar uh, upon some memorial or something like that has been placed in your city, uh, even over nations. So, so we need to come against those things today. They might be hindering you. So Heavenly Father, we thank you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ as we come before you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, every throne of authority that is upon our generational line. Heavenly Father, we pray we bind that spirit that is operating, that authority that is operating behind it, and we bind it right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray, according to your word, it says to bind the strong man hand and feet and cast it out. Lord, we pray right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every authority or throne that has been upon our generational line. Lord, we pray right now that it be loosened and Lord, be cast back into the pit of hell right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every authority that is coming against us in the workplace, we come against that strong man right now. We bind it hand and feet right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we cast it back to the pit of hell right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We speak de destruction unto the fruits of anything that is causing slow progress incomplete victories blood pollution open curses and threats success manipulations all roads closed failure of divine promise marital downgrading polygamous contamination spiritual cons cons spiritual confusion parental curses night feeding arrows against us in the day and the night, miracle delayers, examination failure, anti-promotion spirits or satanic uh, spirits against us in, in, in any area, dream harassment, hair manipulation, 
circle of problems, drug dependence, periodic problems, debts, satanic timetable, caged finances, parental hatred, unexplainable hatred, infirmity, prayer, lukewarmness, false visions, enchantment, rejection, self-declared issues, lack of direction. Lord, we pray today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that you would loose your hold upon our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And we command you to be separated from us. And we place the cross of Jesus between us and you and forbid you to ever return or deposit any other evil thing in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray right now. We dismantle every satanic dustbin fashioned against us in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil grip upon our spirit, you will loose your hold in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every evil grip upon our soul, you will loose your hold in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil grip upon our body, you will loose your hold in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We overthrow every demonic judgment directed against us in the name of Jesus Christ. We dismantle by the blood of Jesus every throne installed against us in the name of our Lord Jesus. And we challenge and we disgrace every satanic prophet hired against us by fire in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every evil authority backing up our enemies be withdrawn in the name of Jesus. Let the foothold of satanic oppressors become slippery in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire, destroy every garment of reproach in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We refuse every evil design and label are placed upon our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let riot and confusion baptize the camp of our enemies in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We close down every satanic broadcast broadcasting station fashioned against us in the name of our Lord Jesus. Any conscious or unconscious material that we have eaten from the table of our enemy depart from our life now in Jesus mighty name. We dismantle every demonic opposition to our breakthroughs in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every evil anti-excellent spirit loose your hold upon our lives in the name of Jesus. We cast the spirits behind our problems into the fire of judgment in the name of Jesus. Every age of oppression by punishment be punished and tormented unto submission in the name of our Lord Jesus. Every satanic case filed against our life be closed by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Every agent of oppression be disgraced after the order of the gods of Egypt in the name of Jesus Christ. Every agent of oppression experience experience God as the almighty terrible one in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Power to speak against our destiny. Enemies at the gate fall upon us now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that the power to dismiss the enemy and possess gates of the enemy fall upon us tonight in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every gate in our foundation magnetize curses upon our destiny. We shut you down by the power of the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse our roots now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every gate of idolatry opened by our ancestors and is responsible for our slavery all these years Lord, tonight we shut you down by the power of God and the blood of Jesus. Oh, let the chains of slavery troubling and limiting our life. Oh, let them be broken into pieces now in the name of our Lord Jesus. You, the gates of failure, troubling our destiny and disgracing our effects. Enough is enough. Expire by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. You gates of national and collective poverty, sinking the glory of all all of our country. What are you waiting for? You will die in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every gate 
of greatness. Lift up your heads and grant us express admission in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dark gate of wickedness, we break your rod into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Any divine nation power casting spells upon our destiny at any evil gate, you will die now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every gate of or family reproach of our father's house, we exempt us from our destiny and our families from the cage in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we just pray right now that every evil altar, Lord, that has been set up against us, every evil altar erected by, Lord, our forefathers or our mothers today, we release the blood of Jesus to paralyze them. Every evil altar from our fathers or mothers family foundation holding down our greatness we release the blood of jesus to silence you every altar operating from our mother's village to hinder our greatness scatter and die every evil opposition raised to hinder our freedom and greatness receive fire and scatter today in jesus name foundational witchcraft altar manipulation Lord, manipulating our life and glory, Holy Ghost fire, we pray right now, the blood of Jesus, crush them to pieces now in the name of Jesus. Every evil altar, releasing embargo against our life and blessings, the blood of Jesus, flush them out now in the name of Jesus. Foundation curses of our family name right now, Lord, will never serve God or make them be released now and brought into freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray right now in the name of Jesus, every good gate open to our destiny. Blood of Jesus, secure it for us this day and night. Blood of Jesus, close every foundational evil gate open to us and our family. Every evil altar connecting day and night to work against us, receive fire and also be removed now in the name of Jesus. Altars that are hindering our wealth and destiny be exposed and scattered to pieces by Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus. And Holy Ghost fire break and open every gate and altar blocking our blessings, every gate of unrighteousness and sin open to us and to our family. With the blood of Jesus, we close them all. Our Lord, we thank you for a gender of negative evil altars giving power to our problems. The blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, uproot and scatter them. Lord, any part of our life and family captured by evil altars, receive fire now and come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Evil pronouncements into the earth, moon, sun and stars against our life and destiny and our families. We release the blood of Jesus to cancel and wipe them away. Release the blood of Jesus to crush to pieces every evil altar, killing people in our family. Holy Ghost Father, destroy every evil altar injecting and and supporting poverty in our lives and in our family in Jesus name live wire of ultimate death Lord we pray an idolatry hatred envy poverty worldliness polygamy backwardness failure barrenness joblessness connecting our life and our family Lord we pray for the blood of Jesus and Holy Ghost fire we cut and break you to pieces now in the name of Jesus Christ Altars of witchcraft, we set you on fire, burn and to ashes and let uh, let us go right now in the name of Jesus. Every evil order, the Lord, that a certain age men and women must die in the family, break and scatter in Jesus' name. Every evil altars resisting greatness, promotion, marriage, wealth, long life and fame in our lives and in our family. Lord, we pray for Holy Ghost fire, the blood of Jesus to break and wipe them away. Every curse and accusation raised against us and our family or on any evil altar. Blood of Jesus, cancel and wipe them away. 
Holy Ghost fire, blood of Jesus, locate, purge, and paralyze any altar, releasing sickness, pain, and difficulties against us and our family. Any altar receiving food and blood sacrifice, incantation, and enchantment against us and family, receive fire, burn to ashes right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You that evil personality standing on the family evil altar against us, receive fire and fall down and die right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Locate and destroy any altar in the water, on the earth, in the forest, in the moon, in the sun, Lord, on and the stars at crossroad junctions in any house, graveyard that want to trouble us and our family, blood of Jesus Christ, speak on our behalf this day and night and Lord, we pray, evil altars, generational gods and idols of our of our father's family from the establishment of this family till today. Lord, we pray for our family line as we mention our family name right now. Lord, we declare to you today from now and henceforth, Lord, that we shall no longer speak for or against us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we use the blood of Jesus to silence them forever. Lord, we thank you that we have and stand on a new altar and foundation raised and built in the name of the Father, the Son, and the name of His Son and Holy Ghost. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, that you would desire, Lord, for us to go further today and we declare and establish a new covenant and rededicate our life's foundation and family to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we establish and place ourselves and our family, Lord, with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you right now for Holy Ghost fire to come. And we pray, Lord Jesus, Lord, we thank you for right now that, Lord, that every evil power of our Father's house, we reject and set you on fire to burn to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, doors of good things open to us and to our family now in the name of Jesus Christ. Take over our lives, foundation and family from today. Blood of Jesus, wipe away every strange anointing from our life and family in the name of Jesus Christ. Anointing and power into our life and family. Lord, we pray and prophesy good things into ourselves and into our family life. Oh Lord, let our family, Lord, be your dwelling place. Oh Lord, use our family as your instruments, as priests and prophets. Oh Lord, let them and let them reap abundantly whatever we sow into the into the power and the Holy Ghost right now into your kingdom. So we thank you right now for the Holy Spirit that is ministering unto your people. Touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, West Australia. It is time now to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom.